Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an incredibly important topic, blood circulation. Good blood flow is crucial for overall health, yet many of us might not even realize we're suffering from poor circulation. In this video, we'll cover 9 alarming signs that you might have poor blood flow. Recognizing these symptoms early on can help you take the necessary steps to improve your circulation and maintain a healthy lifestyle. Make sure to watch till the end as we'll also share some valuable tips on how to boost your blood flow naturally. Let's get started. 9 Alarming Signs You Have Poor Blood Flow Circulation Blood flow, or circulation, is a fundamental aspect of our health. It ensures that oxygen and essential nutrients are delivered to every cell in our body, while waste products are carried away for disposal. When circulation is compromised, it can lead to a host of health issues. Here are 9 alarming signs that you might have poor blood flow. First, cold hands and feet are one of the most common indicators of poor blood circulation. This occurs because your blood is not adequately reaching your extremities, causing them to feel cold. This can be particularly noticeable in colder weather, but if you find that your hands and feet are frequently cold regardless of the temperature, it could be a sign of an underlying circulation problem. Numbness and tingling sensations, especially in your hands and feet, can also be a sign of poor blood flow. This happens when insufficient blood supply prevents nerves from functioning properly. While occasional numbness can be due to pressure on a nerve, persistent or frequent numbness and tingling should be addressed by a healthcare professional. Another alarming sign is swelling in your lower extremities, such as your legs, ankles, and feet. Poor circulation can cause fluid to accumulate in these areas, leading to swelling. This is particularly common in people who sit or stand for long periods. However, if you notice chronic or severe swelling, it could indicate a more serious circulatory issue that requires medical attention. Poor blood circulation can also lead to chronic fatigue. When your body isn't getting enough oxygenated blood, it can cause you to feel tired and weak, even after a full night's sleep. This type of fatigue can affect your overall energy levels and ability to perform daily activities. Additionally, poor circulation can manifest as varicose veins. These enlarged, twisted veins are often visible just under the surface of the skin and can be accompanied by pain or discomfort. Varicose veins occur when the valves in your veins become weak or damaged, causing blood to pool and the veins to enlarge. Discoloration of the skin, particularly in your extremities, can be another sign of poor blood flow. When blood flow is restricted, your skin can appear pale, bluish, or mottled. This is because your blood is not delivering enough oxygen to the affected areas, causing a change in skin color. Digestive issues, such as abdominal pain, bloating, and constipation, can also be linked to poor blood circulation. When your digestive organs do not receive sufficient blood flow, it can impair their function leading to a variety of gastrointestinal symptoms. If you notice persistent digestive problems, it might be worth considering your circulation as a potential factor. Hair loss and weak nails can be further indications of poor blood circulation. Healthy hair and nails rely on a steady supply of nutrients delivered through the bloodstream. When circulation is compromised, it can lead to hair thinning, hair loss, and brittle or slow-growing nails. This is because your hair follicles and nail beds are not receiving the nutrients they need to stay healthy. Finally, experiencing erectile dysfunction can be a sign of poor blood flow. Adequate blood circulation is necessary for achieving and maintaining an erection. If you or your partner is experiencing difficulties with erectile function, it could be related to circulatory issues and should be discussed with a healthcare provider. Now that we've covered the nine alarming signs of poor blood flow, Let's talk about some ways to improve your circulation naturally. Firstly, regular physical activity is one of the best ways to boost blood flow. Exercise helps to stimulate the heart and blood vessels, encouraging better circulation throughout the body. Activities such as walking, swimming, and yoga can be particularly beneficial. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate exercise most days of the week to keep your blood flowing smoothly. Eating a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins can also support healthy circulation. Certain foods, like those high in antioxidants, can help protect your blood vessels from damage and promote better blood flow. Include foods such as berries, citrus fruits, leafy greens, 
and fatty fish in your diet to support your circulatory system. Staying hydrated is another key factor in maintaining good blood flow. Dehydration can cause your blood to thicken and your circulation to slow down. Make sure to drink plenty of water throughout the day to keep your blood vessels and organs functioning optimally. Avoiding prolonged periods of sitting or standing can help prevent circulation problems. If you have a desk job, make sure to take regular breaks to stand up, stretch, and walk around. Similarly, if your job requires standing for long periods, try to sit down and elevate your feet whenever possible to encourage blood flow. Wearing compression stockings can also be beneficial for people with circulation issues. These stockings apply gentle pressure to your legs, helping to prevent blood from pooling and reducing the risk of swelling and varicose veins. They can be particularly helpful for people who spend a lot of time on their feet or have a history of circulation problems. Quitting smoking is crucial for improving circulation. Smoking damages the blood vessels and reduces the amount of oxygen in your blood, leading to poor circulation and an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. By quitting smoking, you can significantly improve your overall health and circulation. Managing stress effectively can also benefit your blood flow. Chronic stress can lead to elevated cortisol levels, which can constrict blood vessels and reduce circulation. Incorporate stress-reducing practices into your daily routine, such as meditation, deep breathing exercises, and spending time in nature. Getting regular massages can help stimulate blood flow and improve circulation. Massage therapy encourages blood flow to the affected areas and helps to relax tight muscles. Consider incorporating regular massages into your wellness routine to support your circulatory system. Lastly, wearing comfortable clothing that is not too tight can help prevent circulation problems. Tight clothing can restrict blood flow, particularly in the legs and feet. Opt for loose-fitting, comfortable clothes to ensure that your blood can flow freely throughout your body. Thanks for watching our video on the 9 alarming signs you have poor blood flow. We hope you found this information helpful and informative. If you suspect you might be experiencing poor circulation, it's essential to take action and consult with a healthcare professional. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more health and wellness tips. And if you found this video useful, please share it with your friends and family. See you in the next video.